Hello, this is Eric Jones from InThought. This video short demonstrates how you use NumPy arrays to do basic math within Python. We also will go over a few array creation functions, including arrange and linspace, and we end with some speed comparisons comparing NumPy arrays to the speed of list when doing mathematical operations. So I'm going to be working in a tool called IPython here. So we'll just start this up and using the dash pylab flag here starts it up in a numerical environment that provides us access to, to arrays and, and uh, plotting and that sort of thing. So let's just start with looking here at a list. I have a value A here that's a list 1, 2, 3. And if I take A and add it to itself, we're just adding 1, 2, and 3 to 1, 2, and 3. Then we get this, this uh, resulting list that has six elements. A addition on a list is defined in Python as concatenation. Now if we convert this to an array, now if we look at B, it's just an array with 1, 2, and 3. We add two arrays together. Instead of concatenation, addition on arrays is an element by element addition. So B plus B is going to take 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So this doesn't just work with arrays, uh, adding arrays. You can add b plus a scalar value, and it will add 1 to each of the elements. Or you could take b and do other mathematical operations, like you could square each value in the array. So 1 became 1, 2 is 4, or 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. You could even do a, a mathematical operation like sine, and it's applied to each element within the array. This is really handy for doing uh, mathematical operations. There are a few functions uh, for creating new arrays. You may be familiar with range that will create a list of values, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, there's an equivalent, or similar one, for, for uh, called a range that will create an array with a list of values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in it. There's another really handy function uh, called linspace. Here we might say, you know, I want to uh, go from 0 to 5, but I want 11 elements. So this will calculate, uh, using the in, or including the endpoints, it will calculate the spacing needed to give you 11 equally spaced elements. So we have 0 0.51 and so on. Uh, and the len, uh, length of that, we have this guy, is, is 11 as we expect. All right, so there, there are other benefits to using arrays besides just uh, a compact way of doing math. I guess we could show that here. If you had our array A, if you wanted to add the elements together, we could actually write a list comprehension. It's slightly involved here, but we could say x plus y for x comma y in zip of A and A. So we want to add A and A together, so we zip it to make a list of tuples with each element of A paired with itself, and then uh, we do a for loop over that, pulling out the x and y values, add those together, and if we look at the result here, we indeed get 2, 4, and 6. It's not quite as pretty as writing b, uh, b is equal to b plus b, which provides the exact, oops, because we do array of a here. Now if we look at b, the same result that we got up here. Uh, but are there any other benefits? Well, let's look at speed. There's a nice function called time it in Python. What I'll do here is I'll just uh, make a, a list with 10,000 elements in it. And we'll do, again, our AA operation. But I'm going to call it with time it. And you'll notice that. Uh, it ran uh, this 100 loops, and the best of three was 2.16 uh, milliseconds. So time it kind of runs for a certain amount of time, doing as many of the operations it can, and then gives you back a, a value for, for the best uh, of multiple runs of that. So that's what, what we get for our list addition. Uh, if we instead say b is equal to array of a here, and then we say time it and look at the speed here it's going to run again for quite a while but you'll notice instead of 100 loops it did 10,000 and they took 65.2 microseconds compared to milliseconds 
How much faster is that? Well, we can say 2.16 here, e to the negative 3, that's milliseconds, divided by 65.2 e to the negative 6, that's uh, microseconds. Look at that, and we get uh, a speed up of, of 33, so it's quite a bit uh, uh, faster. It shows that it's really worth using NumPy when you're doing uh, math with, with large numbers of values. Hopefully this gives you an idea uh, of some of the benefits of NumPy. Thanks for watching.